Hey, it's that, it's that time of, sh of the show. We call it Around the Movie Block with, with the Rock. And for the movie review, we give you Rocco Pasquale. Thank you very much, Howie. The movie I have for you this week is a Netflix original. It is called Marriage Story. It is directed by Noah Bombich and it stars uh, Scarlett Johansson and Adam Driver. New York theater director Charlie Barber, played by Driver, and his soon-to-be ex-wife Nicole, played by Johansson, struggle to keep their sense of civility towards each other as their respective lawyers, played by Laura Dern, Alan Alda, and Ray Liotta, make their ongoing dis divorce proceedings increasingly ugly. The really incredible thing about this movie, um, right off the bat, is it deals with a subject that we're not normally used to seeing in movies. Um, the most prominent movie ever about divorce was back in about like like four years ago, actually. It was a movie called um, Kramer vs. Kramer back in 1979, and that was like the really only prominent movie on the subject. So it's you know very not often we have a, a movie about the subject. I think it's perfect you know to have a platform like Netflix where you know great ideas and particularly very risky ideas can be really well supported and. For this particular movie, everything really works mostly really well. I mean, there's are, there are some flaws with this movie, though, I would have to mention right off the bat. We're dealing with characters that are in show business, so, um, you know, they're in, one's in theater one, and one's in Hollywood, so you, you, you have to kind of get past this feeling of feeling like, you know, the idea of like, like, like whether or not these characters are that relatable to the common person, but I have to be... You know, as somebody who's been a child of divorce myself, the really strong moments, the moments that really come into focus are really, really compelling. And I think this is why this is a really good movie. I feel like, you know, the, the, the actors in this, all the actors from uh, Adam Driver to um, Scarlett Johansson to the supporting cast of Laura Dern, Alan Alda, and Ray Liotta, everybody is really well done in this movie. And you really get a sense of how deeply relatable the whole story plays out. You know, you have this well, nice, well-meaning couple, you know, that want to divorce amicably, and they're being pulled against their will from, you know, just, it just really shows like something that you don't see a lot in movies, just the really kind of viciousness of how a divorce can be. And it's really eye-opening for a lot of people that are, you know, because it's not the most um, uplifting subject matter for a movie, so. But the way this is done is very well done because you really feel like the, the, the real kind of relatability of these characters, you really feel like a sense that there's no clear cut kind of hero and villain as you normally would have in a divorce scenario. I mean, from you know, personal experience myself, you know, it, it, divorce can be very, very divisive. And you know, to the credit of the writer and director, Noah Bombich, who's done very well done movies on the subject before, like The Squid and the Whale, he really knows how to tell the story. I mean, given past the uh, the fact that like these two people are in show business, and that might be off-putting to some because they feel you know you feel like you know you want to have uh, you know people in this kind of story that are relatable. And I feel like in terms of the emotions of these characters, you really can relate to them. You really feel a sense that you know you you have characters that you know you feel like you've been there. Like in terms of whether it's from the guy's perspective or the the girl's perspective. And I really feel like. You know, we were seeing these movies emerge during award season that have a really strong kind of showing potentially for, you know, the, you know, for the Golden Globes and ultimately the Oscars. And I really have to say, like, like Marriage Story definitely is potentially strong, you know, not just as, you know, in the acting categories, but also potentially in Best Picture. So like I said, even regardless of, of, of how, you know, you gotta get past the fact that, you know, the characters are in show business and it, it may not be relatable to everybody. And there's movies, there's parts in the movie where it kind of can really sort of, you know, kind of dither and, and not really be focused. I, I really do feel ultimately that, that this is definitely a very good movie and I feel like it's definitely showing that Netflix is making a strong showing for why they can make really good movies as much as like any of the big Hollywood studios have. So I definitely feel that that this is a very, very strong, very compelling movie on this subject, probably even more so than, than Kramer versus Kramer. And I think it's definitely one to watch. I think people will really, really get a, a real strong jolt out of this movie in terms of how it unfolds dramatically and, and really feel like, you know, even a tough subject like divorce can really play out for a really, really great piece of film. So. Ultimately, I give Marriage Story four 
out of five stars. And you can watch it on Netflix right now. So thank you. Okay, great job, Rocco. All right, awesome. Uh, time to wrap up the show. And uh, very, very entertaining show today. We want to thank uh, Team Band Vitro. They were awesome. They made their debut. And uh, really excellent band. Great vocal, great instrument. A lot of energy, great chemistry among the band members. I think this is a band that has great potential and we're very happy to have them on the show today. And then uh, our regular crew members did a great job. Rocco Pasafumi on a movie review. Harvey Wiesenberg was uh, very inst uh, inspirational as usual with the Wiesenberg perspective. So uh, definitely um, a real treat to have Vitro on our show today and we look forward to having them back on the show. and. Uh, I think they can make a name of themselves here on the south shore of Long Island. And with that, we wrap with this. My name is Halftime. What do I think of your time? Please join us next Sunday on the show of Halftime. But at this time, we are out of time. See you next Sunday.